so the winning run is over. <laughs> So the four game winning run is over. And let's be honest, we weren't great, were we? So we didn't really create enough chances. We weren't clinical enough in the final third. And we got punished, even if it was a bit of a fortunate goal from a Bristol City point of view. And from a Sheffield United point of view. And don't get me wrong, it was a brilliant goal. Uh, I'm not taking anything away from the goal, but another 99 times out of 100, it'd have flaked that on and it wouldn't have gone in the top bin, would it? Let's be honest. Anywho, let's get on to the Birmingham game because this needs to be a quick video because these games are coming in thick and fast. Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. So, uh, so yeah, I've not got much time to record and edit, so let's get into it. So Birmingham are a complete contrast to our last opponents, Bristol City, because they've drawn five and lost two. Not won a single game. Let's hope this game is not the first one of the season. They've even drawn the last three games, so... Uh, it sounds like they're going to be a hard team to break down. And I'm predicting a long, hard slog. So in the last game, we had all the possession, all the chances. Birmingham kind of scored against the runner play. And then after that, oh, it was a screamer, by the way. It was a screamer, by the way. And then after that, we just battered, battered, battered. Leon Clark eventually scored. So it finished one all. It wasn't the greatest result in the world for us because we were flying at that time and Birmingham couldn't win away from home. So, transfers. They've brought in a lad called Christian Pedersen from Union Berlin, plays left back. He's played every game. He's never present this season for Birmingham. And the other one's a bit of a weird one because they signed Gary Gardner from Aston Villa on loan. It's like us signing a Wednesday player on loan. It's really random. Other than that, they've been quite quiet in the transfer market. So key players, even though Birmingham have not exactly set the world alight, they're in 21st place, they've not had a great start to the season, they've still got some very dangerous players. So they've got Jax Magoma on the wing, they've got Omar Bogle, Jota, obviously Jota's quality, and obviously NX Blade in Che Adams. And after getting booed at Bramall Lane last time, he's going to want to score any, let's be honest. Like I say, I am flying through this today. Blades 11. I'm going to go for pretty much the same team as I did last week, obviously. Because we don't tend to change many players around. So, I'm, gonna, I'm hoping that John Fleck ends up miraculously getting better and replaces John Lundstrom. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a John Lunch, Lundstrom hater. But, you can't replace John Fleck, can you? So hopefully Fleck is going to be fit. What I am going to do, I am going to swap David McGoldrick for Leon Clark because, let's be honest, Wilder will want to bring Leon Clark back. And McGoldrick missed so many chances. He missed so many chances against Bristol City. But for some reason, he brought off Billy Sharp and didn't bring off David McGoldrick. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So even though Birmingham have got a lot of players that are very, very dangerous, I'm going to go for a 3-1 Blades win. I'm going to have a swipe at the uh, at the scorers. I'm going to say Mark Duffy to score, Leon Clark to get one, and, uh, and probably Billy Sharp to get one as well. So come on, boys. We need to get back to winning ways. Come on, you red and white wizards. Yeah! 